Hi Scorpios, thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to do your reading for the month of June. So, Scorpios, um, I finally decided to make some changes to the channel. Um, I'm actually doing something extra, something new with the monthlies, but I'll tell you guys about it in the end because I don't want to just, you know, talk about it too much in the beginning. Um, right now, you know, this is just the regular reading. Um, but I, I'll get to that in the end, okay? Um, Scorpios, you know what I got for you guys? <laughs> I didn't really get that much messages. What I just kept getting is the song from Cardi B, Money. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know it, but write it down, Cardi B, Money, and just listen to it because I think that's going to be the Gemini season energy for you guys. It's like, um, you know, sort of the nine of sort energy overthinking nightmares not sleeping anxiety stress and then reconnecting to a part of yourself thinking you know what i am that b okay i am her <laughs> i am him like i can do better than this i can you know get myself out of this i can heal i can move on i can reclaim my own power that's what i'm getting it's, it's very powerful actually um, so yeah, that song maybe help you during this month. I don't know. Just giving it, you know, to the ones who need it. Let's get a spirit message for you guys. I think, you know, this month you just don't really want to get in um, to express yourself. A lot through words it's more about music it's more about melody it's more about energy right you read people very strongly this month scorpio nobody can tell you anything it's like i feel you and i just i'm not gonna hang with you i just i just i can't vibe with your energy right now okay <laughs> that's sort of what I'm, I'm getting for you guys you see you don't really want to speak there we go. Wow, forgiveness. Forgiveness. I can make 10 videos about forgiveness. It's the most powerful energy in healing processes, basically. So I'll read it for you guys. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions the act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredible powerful and it and, and it has the capacity to heal and transform you forgiveness do you some of you have you know um, certain connection with your parents you're going over and releasing certain things maybe you've become a, you know a mother yourself or your uh, kid is just turned into teenage years <laughs> become a teenager and um, you sort of see a lot of yourself in it and you you starting to forgive your mother for making or dad for making certain decisions based on your betterment in that time I don't know um, but I also feel some of you just have to forgive yourself and I think that that's where it all starts it's yes, if you go through a certain type of relationship, whether it's uh, abusive, mentally, physically, whether it's just toxic, um, get out of it. You feel this all this unfairness energy, you know, building up, building up, and you're holding on to it. Sometimes you have to um, also forgive yourself first, thinking, wow, um, I don't understand why I stayed in that situation, but I forgive myself for it. I had to learn the lessons in that amount of time that I was in it, and now I'm, I'm getting out of it. I'm taking it step by step, day by day, and um, you know, compassion, forgiveness, but also towards other people. It's it you don't have to let people in when they forgive you, or, or sorry, when you forgive them. When they are forgiven, you don't have to get back into a friendship, into a relationship, into anything and contact. But releasing the resentment you have towards it and still believing that they should have made another choice, they should have done this, should have, could have, could have, is um, holding a resentment. And that is keeping your energy very low and stuck and 
it's just with you all the time and it drains you slowly but surely it's like like i said it's the most one of the most and strongest damaging energy a human being can embody i mean that's powerful and i don't think that holding a grudge is that is worth that right it's worth it because if that person still feels they need forgiveness from you and all of that they also still keep connected to your energy but I'm hearing I have to move on from it because you guys are not in it right now. You're like, ah, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, I'm just, you know, for maybe a couple of Scorpios, you needed to hear that. Because when you forgive and you move on, you truly move on because you heal from it. When you, Once you heal from something, nobody has, that person has no control of you anymore. And they will feel that. Now, I think that's more revenge. <laughs> if we're speaking about revenge. Um, it's overcoming a situation. Coming out as a winner. Anyway, let's move on. I have a new deck. And it's still very slippery. So that's why the whole card deck just came out. It's very similar to my other cards. But it is more detailed. And I'm, I'm, I'm really in love with this deck. So I'm testing it out. I just got it like two days ago, so I'm just testing it out and going with the flow. I'm really curious what you guys think about this new deck. It's the Charmin Tarot deck, okay, for the ones that are interested. Okay, Scorpio, what you got coming? Three of Wands, you got coming, you got something coming in, you got your ships coming in. Three of Wands. Answers, I'm hearing. Like, you've been waiting on this news. You've been waiting on these chips to come in. Like, they have something you you wanted to know or you wanted to, to, um, to receive. Okay, this is something that comes in not by just by surprise. It's like you expected this to come in. You don't know exactly what they're bringing back, you know. Boats over here. But you know that they will come back. And they're on a mission. You are on a mission. So, receiving something, having your ships come in. The fool. Is it is it an uh, a release? Is it It's almost like something comes in. And you can finally move on. You can finally go. It's like you get an answer to a question. And you're like, okay. I can let go now. I can move on. I can just take on a new journey. I can walk a new pathway. Because I've realized this. I've, you know, got this. Maybe it's a spiritual download. It's like, it's a new feel. It's a new energy you come into. But it's an answer. I feel like you finally know exactly where you stand with, with another person or in your own life, your career, what you want to do. You're ready to take a risk and a chance and follow your heart. But this is beautiful, Cap uh, sorry Scorpio, because you're coming through as the King of Cups. Fancy. Fancy. Four of Cups, and then we have the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> I'm not really sure if what came in, what's coming in is something you, you really want. Because maybe you're just not open to receive with your energy yet for it. But the thing is, is that... I'm hearing you have a certain specific type of dream. And you're looking at these three cups like, this all there is? Like, is this it? You know? Is this all I get to choose from? Is it? Is that it? But it's not. There's something else coming in. But because you're so focused on the things you're lacking or the things that, that you know, received... It's like sometimes when something comes in, it's not exactly what you want. You know, it's the three cups, but it actually brought you freedom, so you can build anything with it. 
that's sort of like these four cup it's about yeah but even though it doesn't bring you the ten of pentacles right away it starts off slow at least it's a your pathway it's your authentic it's you choosing that pathway it's freedom it's emotional freedom you're not um you know hold back by that energy and i feel this has so much to do with this full moon coming up in a couple days in your sign i've been feeling this energy for you guys all week already like um this full moon in scorpio is intense i love it but it's intense <laughs> judgment yes this is also reclaiming that inner child within yourself and letting her or him speak to you and show you the way. If you just don't know about this adult life we get caught into sometimes and we just like all these dreams and goals and things when I was, I was a kid I had this endless type of energy and right now I just can't even get out of bed man. I just can't. You know I have all these goals and things but mm, by the time it's like four in the afternoon I just my energy is very low you know but you're getting a call you're getting a call like you're getting something handed towards you you see this is universe work this is not just coincidentally happening like you're being called to work walk sorry walk a certain pathway you're like you see they're calling in this is all meant to happen even though you don't have all the answers maybe that's okay if you're ready for an adventure right now Scorpio what truly belongs to you and what is has stuck with you or clinged on to you an emotion and a certain belief system that's never really yours hearing survival kit you know we all have a survival kit we all have that energy we can tap into that protects us you know that keeps us from certain depth of emotions it's just that survival modus but you can't live in that survival modus and exist into it for too long it's just you know getting through certain periods of time you see ten of cups it is still on the, all on the table for you scorpio It is all on the table for you. Yes. Even though it feels like you got to step away and you're moving further away from what you really want, it is actually creating a pathway that's possible. Ten of Cups. It's all about emotions. You see, you, you get to choose from the heart. Wow. Four of once just when you thought it was all over just when you thought it had no potential Just when you thought it was not for me, the hangman feeling like you got tested by the universe almost is like, what's the use? You first want me to do this, I'll do that, and this happens. What do you want from me? Like, that's almost what I'm hearing, you know? It's like, you just want to keep me stuck here. Let me see. Scorpio, Six of Pentacles. generous it's the journey of this person you see it keeps it's the same person it's here you are then here you are same person you see but then also here you are with the Pentacles I feel like you're if you're dealing with somebody right now you're dealing with a person who's pretty generous who is interested in many multiple people 
vultures, all of that. But it's also it has a certain need to be on the forefront. You see, and what you want is something else, kind of sorts, still in your energy. That's what I felt. Let me see, I'm gonna get some cards out of them. The tower. Bomb. Wow. These cards are angry. Some of you are like pissed, okay? Pissed about something, upset about something. The Knight of Wands, the Tower. Yeah. When it comes to business, you know, it's progressing. It's going good. It's like, um, it's a, it's you started with the Page of Pentacles, right up in the Queen. So if you have like a certain type of entrepreneur or just a creative idea i think it has a lot of potential and it's also because you're trying it out in a new way in a new direction okay you're trying a different approach and it's actually very very um successful okay um there's a lot of back back and forward communication i feel like Like you've been giving out a little bit too much, Scorpio. It's like, um, you're always on the giving end, almost. Like always the one handing out, extending. Um, whether it's guidance, whether it's money, whether it's time, whether it's energy. It's like you're putting it in your friends, in your relationship, or in the person you're dating, in your family. And it's like giving it, giving it, giving it. It's like, yeah, but what? You know, and what I received something of that, and I feel like there's a lot of back and forward communication about equal give and take, you know. But what I see is that Nine of Swords overthinking mode, yes, there's something that's on your mind, okay? It's it's not on your mind, just like hey, I'm casually here, it's like the it overtakes your entire mind, okay? There are certain things that do that. Then the tower comes in, shake up, bum. You know, it's like a total realization. You're like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm do me for a little bit. I'm gonna just do me for a little bit, you know? And you're getting back and forth with communication. There's a lot of movement after you decide, like, listen, I, I don't need to necessarily sit here and wait and let it completely overtake everything. I'm the one who's in control. And I, I feel really, like I said, like that. Um, that reclaiming of your personal power and seeing yourself as the queen of pentacles and um, gives you a sense of self-confidence that you need to be able to attract the good things in. I do see that there are some divine guidance when it comes to your relationship. If you're dealing with a relationship, if you've been married or all of that, you felt you know disconnected from each other basically. I feel like the angels are literally coming in and bringing you guys back together. It's like, okay, you know, more in the same energy. There's some divine stepping in, okay? Because if your relationship is hanging by a thread, you know, in the beginning of June and in the end it's like, oh, let's get married, you know? And, <laughs> you know, there was some divine intervention going on because you guys are, um, you know, there's still another pathway for the two of you four of you maybe maybe your kids involved as well but what I do really feel strongly is that releasing some of old thought process basically so it's very interesting and I really like to go deeper into that as well okay Scorpio so what I'm going to be doing next, and like I said, I wanted to talk about that a little bit in the end of the reading. Um, I've decided after a year and a half of doing only YouTube to actually start something extra on top of the normal monthlies. Of course, I'm going to keep them similar or the same. I, I want everybody to feel included, of course. And I don't want to make you guys feel like I'm just taking this and putting it on another platform. I 
am very devoted to this and to the people that are with me since the beginning. So um, I've decided to start deep readings, deeper readings on Vimeo. Um, it's more than just you know clarifying this reading we're also doing a two different spreads for singles and for relationships getting deeper into that i'm really excited about it and also um finances and career of course plus we will we will uh, do an affirmation meditation uh at the end also to help you uh, get more grounded and help you manifest the good things, you know, for the month of June helps you manifest better, stay grounded, you know, um, so it's, it's really exciting and I've, I've done it for a couple signs now and, um, yeah, it's really something extra, you know, and if you feel guided to join me on Vimeo, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Um, but if you decide to not do it and just stick with uh, the YouTube reading, then that's totally fine. Cause I, I appreciate you guys either way. Okay. I love you. And um, I hope you guys are excited the way I am about it, you know, because it's really something extra. I'm not taking anything away from YouTube, of course not. And because um, this is not the type of person I am. I don't want to make you guys feel like I'm, you know, disconnected from, from my intentions or something at all. Okay, Scorpio, way too much talking. I'm sorry to keep you up. <laughs> I hope to see you on Vimeo. Otherwise, I'll see you guys back soon on YouTube, okay? Mwah. I love you to the moon and beyond. Good luck. Don't let the stress get to you. Good things are coming. I promise. Okay? I love you. Bye.